Huh. Do you remember, Sarlacc? How... How we became friends? I do. You're pathetic, Cherith. <laughs> oh, well, please. Please. Hit him. Hit him in his face. Someone stop him. I had never seen you before. Yet from that day, you always had my back. When I was bullied, you'd somehow always show up and save me. There was no need to understand why. I didn't have any friends back then. I guess I was too weak for an orc. Yet despite your strength, you seemed to be the lonely one. We were like opposites complementing each other. You'd teach me how to fight, and I'd keep you company. Do you remember? Of course. I remember how it used to be. Just the two of us. How things were different back then. We were different. But suddenly... Things changed. War came. I thought you enjoyed war, Sarlacc. <laughs> That's right. I love the clash of steel, the gushing blood, and the thundering roars. War is the epitome of strength. There is no place for weaklings. Yet you still saved me countless times in the midst of battle. You know I had no choice. But you're right. If it weren't for me, you'd be dead a hundred times over. Yet, when the dust of war had settled, you were the one who was praised. You were acknowledged, and I was ignored. So that's why you left? Wrong. I was used to being ignored by everyone in my entire life. But when peace came, you returned as a hero. Suddenly, you had friends, and you met Keisha, who gave birth to Rain. And that's when you started ignoring me as well. That's a lie. You were my best friend. Don't be silly. Our friendship was based solely on needs, and I no longer had anything to offer you. Why stay? So you left for five years, but then you suddenly came back. Why? Because you needed me, of course. What do you mean? Don't pretend like you didn't notice it. Keisha was always away in the evening. And whenever you found her, she'd be... talking with one of your so-called friends. So what? I knew what was going on. And I taught her on your behalf. You were too weak to even handle your own wife. Did you never wonder where all those bruises came from? You... You tried to kill her for something like that. Oh, I have my reasons for wanting her dead. Keisha. Just like I have my own reasons for finally getting rid of you. I'm tired, Greth. I'm tired of seeing you take that, which is rightfully mine. I won't let you outshine me anymore! So, if I defeat you, Keisha will live. And if you lose, I'll give her a swift death. <laughs> it's ironic. You, saving my life so many times, only to finally kill me when it actually matters. That's what friends are for. Is that all you've got, correct? Sarlacc! Do you really want Rain to grow up without his parents? What can you offer him? Love? Care? Diffuse emotions are worthless in this world. Strength is everything! You're wrong, Sonic! Strength is nothing if you
you have nothing to protect. I know you didn't return because of Keisha. You returned because of Rain. Wait. So, you knew. Of course. I'd rather take my own life than see you take over my family. <laughs> You're a fool. When war comes, your son won't stand a chance. He will live to die a pathetic death like yourself. It's not pathetic. I die. Because you made my life worth living. You just don't get it. Stop crying, Rain. It's pathetic. <laughs>